Yeah, so Green Hatch Group, we're uh, uh, members of Pox, about 140 or so. We're primarily a surveying company. Uh, I work for the engineering department. We're a, a geospatial engineering company. Uh, we cover topographical surveys, building surveys, um, 3D laser scanning, monitoring. Um, we work in the UK and globally. Uh, so we're just on site at the moment. We're printing some internal walls, doors, uh, things like that for a, a contractor of ours. We're working with one of our clients, um, setting out internal walls um, on, the, on the slab, including any penetrations, uh, studded walls, uh, door positions. You know, we, we go on sites with, with a lot, thousands and thousands of points to set out. You know, so as we go in old school with, you know, traditional string lines and chalk lines, etc. We needed, we needed a, a, a product that can give us that edge. As soon as I saw the HP print, it's, it ticked every box, really. It's a printing solution that lets us print basically anything that's, that's on CAD. So we've also used it for a lot of robotic work, uh, putting cells down, anything that needs marking out, really. It's key that that CAD is, is correct. You know, once that CAD's correct, you know, all checked, all you know, QA checked in the office, put through the UI, you know, uploaded to the, to the, um, to the UI of HP, then that's where the autometer comes. The CAD is, is very important. The, the better that you can um, prep the CAD, the faster you'll be able to work, but also you can program in any obstacles, anything like that. You want to make sure that obviously all your lines, all the 2D work, the poly lines touch, you don't want to leave any holes. The user is just there just, just to watch the robot do its thing really and you know take control if needed. So we use the total station to basically coordinate ourselves on site. So sometimes we could be working where we're referencing to a, 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 an external wall or steels or anything like that. We could be we could have external control in already that we need to reference off if it's a large building. So we basically use the total station then to coordinate the position of the robot with the prism on the top, and that's how the robot then knows where in the site that it is. Been with the company almost 19 years now. Uh, I started off using an old uh, 1200. Um, total station. That's how I trained on. That's how I learned on. The relationships grown since then. Really, uh, you know, a GPS fleet. We've got total station fleet throughout the company. The accuracies that we've seen at the moment are are incredible, um, and the speed of it as well. It's you know, it's probably ten times faster really than what we can. The speed that we can work at, but also the amount of detail that you can put down is is really a key. Just gives a bit of an edge, really, a value, giving extra value to the clients, but also speeds. Um, and productivity really on, on that side of things you know we, we, we try as a company to keep keep ahead of the game ahead of the curve if you like a lot of clients that we've worked for so far you know they're able to walk onto the area that we've printed and they, they can physically see the CAD in front of them they don't, they don't have to walk around with with a paper version trying to work out what's what then they can get all their guys in they can have basically have full conversations about stuff and put stuff on the floor and everyone's on the same page and they all understand what they're talking about we can have the flexibility of you know we can set out points if we needed you know some of some of our clients have just we don't need line work we just need points um so you know having the flexibility of just mark points which i don't think there's any other solution can do that the fact that because we're often as a service uh, to clients um that it helps me uh, really focus on you know i can you know 10,000 square meters you know I, I can put it through the hp simulator which gives me an idea how long it, the robot will take you know 20 hours to mark out you know 10,000 square meters then i can know how much our day rate is and also the model of the uh, the hp the flexibility of of adding of inks 